Hello and welcome to Home Practice, Stopgap's online series of inclusive dance classes and workshops. They're designed to help you learn more about inclusive dance and to develop your own dance practice wherever you are. This season is called Inclusion Elevates Everyone. And this episode is Mechanics of Momentum. It's inspired by the way I collect redirect energy through my wheels, but it's suitable for any dancing body. We'll start with some exploration of movement principles, discover our own versions of some moves, and then link them together for a phrase. So please do comment in the section below, and remember to subscribe, clicking the bell to keep up to date with all of Stopgap's releases. Short clips from this season of home practice. Our disabled and non-disabled teachers dance and deliver their sessions in a brightly lit studio with a wooden floor. Pastel coloured geometric shapes glide across to reveal text inside the outline of a house. Home practice. Hello, I'm Laura. I'm a white female with brown wavy hair that's tied up in a messy bun. I'm wearing blue jogging bottoms and a white sports top with a kind of blotchy butterfly design on it. And I'm sat in my wheelchair in a large uh, light studio with wooden floor and pale blinds behind me. So this episode, Mechanics of Momentum, for, for this, I really thought about breaking down how I use my chair to generate momentum. And I've broken this down into some movement principles, which we're gonna work through. As I said at the beginning though, it's suitable for all different dancing bodies. I'll give suggestions and ideas to help you find your version of the movement material. A couple of things to be aware of before we get going is if you are a standing dancer and you're not familiar to translating movement from a different kind of dancing body then don't worry because I'm going to give you some ideas but it can maybe feel a bit unnatural or a bit awkward to start with so I really encourage that you stick with it though because this is where um, we can learn new things about our body. Then a final note before we get going is to be aware that when working with momentum, it's very easy to get carried away and uh, move a lot. So just be aware of the size of space that you've got and adjust your movement to that size. If you are having to work in quite a small space, then it's still possible, but just maybe have a focus on how you can still find a flow while working with a limitation. So for this exploration, we're going to work through and layer up some movement principles. Things that I thought about and think about when I'm manipulating my wheelchair and trying to get the most out of the momentum I can generate. So the principles that we're going to work with are pour, press, push, catch and pull or throw. So for this situation, I'll define them as a paw is a slow transference of weight. A press is a continuous and controlled applying of pressure. A push is a initiation that has impulse to it and it encourages a shift of movement. A catch is about collecting that energy and then a throw or a pull is kind of the opposite of a push. So it's again a movement with initiation that shifts you in the space. So we're going to start in our upright position so we're ready to move. Whatever that is for you, whether you're sat or working with a dance tool or standing. And if you want, if it's helpful for you, you can shut your eyes and just listen to the instructions. 
or you can feel free to keep them open. So finding our upright position and thinking about our points of contact with the floor. So you might have multiple points of contact. It could be sit bones through a chair connecting to the floor, sit bones directly onto the floor, hands through wheels connecting to the floor, hands through crutches, feet connecting to the floor, whatever or a combination of any of those. Thinking about that connection down to the floor. We're going to send our energy downwards. Feeling weighted and grounded. I find the image of clay, thinking about moulding my hands onto the wheels, imagining the wheels are made of clay, is a really helpful image for me. And you might find the image of roots, sending your roots out, spreading across the floor and spreading down through the floor to give you a really strong, stable, and supported base. Spend a bit of time sending that energy down. And take some deep breaths. Feel really supported. And then we're going to add a second direction of energy. So we've got our energy going down, spreading downwards. We're going to add on top of that some energy going upwards, thinking about it traveling through the spine, lifting our head, feeling light in your head, like your head is floating above. And quite a nice image to think about is the upward arches. So you've got your, the top of your head, your forehead, your eyebrows, or the roof of your mouth, all floating upwards. And take some breaths here. Really finding that two-way passage of energy. Then our head is going to start to fill with something and get heavier. So for me, I really like the, I, the image of sand pouring into my head. You might find something else is helpful for you. Maybe it's warm porridge or maybe it's paint. So we have our upright position and our light head. Then we're pouring starting to fill the head with something and the heavier it gets the more it tips the more it fills and as you're tipping over you're pressing into your surface try and find that press to support you and then you can continue pressing to bring yourself back to upright and go again in another direction pouring your head over, feeling it with something, pressing through your base to feel that support, and then pressing to bring yourself back to upright. And for me, this idea of pressing into my base, I'm thinking about the idea of storing energy. It's a bit like pressing a spring or charging a battery you're pressing and, and storing some potential energy in your base. So we're going to keep exploring this for a little bit, finding your presses and pouring. And you can try using a different base. Maybe, for example, I might press through the front of the frame of my chair. So find some pours and presses, storing the energy.
and then as well you can play with how you come back to upright so you might um, uncurl and come back to upright the same way that you went down but you can also try leading with the top of your head and scooping so we've poured over pressed through our base and then you can lead with the top of your head to scoop back to upright have an explore with that changing between the two Remember each time you're pressing, you're storing energy. Excellent. So we've got our pour and our press. The next one we're going to add is a push. So this is this shifting. So we've poured over and we've pressed and found that, stored that energy. And then the push is how we transfer that energy from a downwards potential energy into a horizontal shift of energy. And for me, I'm literally pushing on my wheels. If you don't have a movement tool, then you might find that you are still pushing away from the surface that you've been pressing into. Or you might find the image of maybe some external force from that place that you've pressed into pushes you in the space. So adding on, we've got pour and press, storing the energy and then releasing with a push. Have a go, see how that feels for you. You can play with the size and the intensity of the push. Maybe you might push from one side. You might, particularly if you're working with wheels, find that you can push from both sides at the same time. Okay, so we've got pour and press and push. Then we're gonna add the next two at the same time. So we've got our push and release. And then we're gonna find our catch and throw. So for me, the idea of catch is about rather than letting the energy from the push disappear, it's about collecting that energy so then I can use it and redirect it and send it in a different direction. It's a little bit like if you were throwing a big ball, catching the ball and rather than catching it and stopping it dead, catching it, bringing it into yourself so you can send it away in another direction. And I am literally, again, when I've done my paw and press and push, I'm literally, I can catch my wheel, find a moment of suspend before I pull the wheel and send it in a different direction. 
but it might be for you if you're not working with wheels that you have the idea of like being caught from the outside it might be that you physically catch a body part it might even be that you catch your breath find that moment of suspend before you pull and shift in a new direction so give that a go You can make these as big or as small as you like. Maybe it's just a small moment of suspend before you redirect the energy. Maybe you might find that you have a really big suspend into a balance, then redirect the energy somewhere else. Then, final layer that you can think about if you want a bit more of a challenge is you can think about how that connects to the rest of your body. So it might be that you think about your focus. Does your focus lead and be part of what pulls you around? Or does it come afterwards? Or also, can you find moments where you can release your limbs and find a way to extend the movement into your limbs, your arms, your legs, top of your head. Have a go with this, see if you can find maybe what your natural rhythm is. If you want to keep exploring that, then feel free to pause and have a little bit of a practice. You might even find that you want to try exploring some different music that might maybe suit your own personal rhythm a little bit more. Remembering you can explore big or small depending on the size of space you have. And think about how it connects to the rest of your body. So now we're going to take that information that we've just gathered from the exploration and we're going to put it into finding our variation of some moves. And I can give you some examples and some ideas, but it's really about finding what works for you in particular what your personal um, momentum and rhythm is. One more thing, in between each move, I'd really encourage you, if you can, to try and find a sense of suspend and keeping the energy before we shift into the next move. Because one of the things that's always the most challenging bit when it comes to moving is that first bit of getting going. So it's really great if you can try and collect the energy and keep it before moving on. 
So we're going to start with the first move and it starts from a sway side to side and you can lead with whichever body part is most useful for you. But I'm particularly thinking about pressing down through one side of my wheel to ripple over and then it puts weight into the other side and I press and ripple over the other way. So it's finding a sway and a ripple side to side. Using that press that we've explored earlier. And then that's going to start to change and morph into a bit of a push. So as we've stored the energy, we can find a small push and it twists us to side to side on the diagonal. You might maybe find a little bit of detail. I'm releasing my fingers as I push, so I'm just actually pushing from the ball of my hand and then bringing my fingers back to the wheel to find a pull back. Can you find your natural swing and sway? Maybe you get a bit bigger. Nice. And then we're going to add in a release. So on your next push diagonal, you're going to push through and release to actually find a shift onto the diagonal, a catch and a pull back to go back to the twisting, twisting, twisting. Then you can twist, push and release, catch and pull back. Explore this, so you've got your sways which generate the twist. Kind of push onto the diagonal, catch and pull back. And you might like to play with the suspension before you travel back. Remember we spoke earlier about rippling up or scooping with the top of your head. So maybe try those different ways of gathering your energy back. See which one works for you. Last one. And then collect that energy up and we're going to send it then forwards and backwards. So taking a little shift or sway forwards and back, forwards and back. Change your base as you need to. and explore what happens in that change of direction when you catch and gather your energy, suspend before you travel in the other direction. For me, as I shift back and catch, I find a little balance or wheelie before I send it forwards again. Find that balance. And then in the forwards moment, I can find a suspend or an inversion. So I shift forwards, use my forwards momentum to find an inversion. So I'm sending my head down and my pelvis up. Recovering with a scoop or curling back to continue our forwards and back.
might need to add just a little bit of a twist to help you get back in the other direction. And then finishing that one off, collecting your energy back into the center. And we're going to do one thinking about uh, a pullback. So this one I'm really connecting through my body using my elbow and my shoulder to pull back. And it's the elbow and the shoulder pulling that pulls my wheels. And you might find you can add a bit of gesture onto it or release of the limb. So you might swing past to pull back, really swing past and pull back. Whatever works for you, might be as you pull back, you release and turn. Focus on the pulling back. A few more. Explore where your balance is. Rippling through your body. And then bringing it down. Finding our center again, finding that moment of suspense. And then the next one is a turn, and I'm thinking of um, leading with my head. So I can take a look over my shoulder, and then I'm diving through with my head to find a turn as I pull. So I look with a small pull and then dive through with a bigger pull. So that is look and then look and pull. And you can build it up till you're making it a bigger and bigger turn. <laughs> Don't worry about which way you end up facing. Maybe a few more. and collect your energy again. Think about remembering that float that we had right back at the start. Then we're gonna do our final one. So again, this is a turn. Whereas that last turn, it was our focus that led us. This time, we're gonna leave our focus behind. So starting with the idea you might Gather your energy, pull your energy in, leave your focus behind, and then do like a whip around. And I go the other way, gather it in, leave my focus behind, and then whip around. Leave your focus and whip. you might find it's helpful to add another limb on to exaggerate that whipping idea. And then when you're ready, coming back to upright. Have a moment to center yourself. You might feel a little bit dizzy. 
And so to, just to recap, we had the sways with the twisting on the diagonal and then releasing to each corner and pulling back. We had our forwards and back momentum with the balance and suspend. We had the pulling back and releasing on one side and then on the other. We had the turn leading with our focus and then the turn leaving our focus behind. Again, feel free to, if you want to have a pause and explore some more of those, um, feel free to. And then we're gonna, what we're gonna do next is link them all together into a phrase. Now we've got all our moves, we're going to put them together. As we do this, it's up to you. You might choose to be a bit free and keep the movement free but within the framework, or you might choose to be really clear and set it quite precisely. It's completely your choice. I'll give you the frame that we use for the movement. So we start with that the first move, so the sways with the twist and then into the shift and pull back. And we'll do, we'll repeat that twice. So we'll have four twists, a shift and pull back, four twists, a shift and pull back. So finding your version, we have one, two, three, four. And then I start a fifth one to shift me onto the diagonal, I catch and pull back. Then I repeat on the other side, twisting one, two, three, four. And then it's the start of the fifth one that pushes onto the diagonal, catch and pull back. Let's do that again so you can get comfortable with your version. So finding the four twists, one, two, three, Four. Ooh. Have to make sure I start going in the right direction. Yes, so start this way first. So I twist one, two, three, four. Twist and push. Catch. Pull back. Twist the other way. One, two, three, four. Push and catch and pull. Remember, you can choose how you change your momentum, whether you roll back up or whether you maybe scoop up, whether you find a moment of suspend. Let's do this one more time. Twisting, one, two, three, four, push and shift, catch, and back. Twist, one, two, three, four, push and shift, catch, and pull back. And as I pull back, I'm catching on, for me, it's the side that's nearest the camera. So I have a little bit of a twist and catch and storing and collecting the energy in that place. And then I'm gonna send it away and leaving my focus behind. So I've stored it, I push, finding a turn or a spiral, leaving my energy behind. Sorry, leaving my focus behind. So that's come back and catch, leave the focus, turn. And I'm finishing facing on to the side. So let's, let's link those together from the top, twisting one, two, three, four, push, catch, pull back, again, twist, one, two, three, four, push, catch, pull back, and then catch on one side, leave your focus behind, all the way around, and as I said, I'm facing the side. From here, I'm going to have a little moment of 
pour. So I'm pouring the weight from the top of my head towards the camera. And I push back up like we did right at the start. So I press back up. So it's pour and press. And then I'm going to have a little release of my limb forwards. So I've got some space to pull my wheel, my, on my wheel to twist and change direction. So that's having the pour and press. Up, release, pulling back to change direction. From here, I'm going to do our forwards and backwards one, but I'm facing on the side, so it looks like I'm going from the side to side. So that is, I'm going to do shift forwards first, and then finding my suspend in an inversion. Recover, pull back to find my suspend with a balance. So that little bit had the pouring over, pressing up, release, pull back to turn, then shift forwards, suspend with an inversion, pushing back, pull, find a balance, and collect. Let's go back from the top, finding our sways and twists. One, two, three, four, twist and push, catch, pull, back and twist, 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 push, catch, pull, back, catch on this side, leave your focus behind and turn, then I'll pour and press, come to upright, release, pulling back to come through. Then our little shift forwards with an inversion and our pull back and balance. We'll do that again one more time from the top before we add on the last little bit. Twists, twist, twist, twist. Push, catch, pull back, twist, 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 push, catch, pull back, catch in one side, leave your focus, pull, release, pull through, shifting forwards and invert, shift back with a balance, then we do our turn with the look. So I do a small pull, a small pull, and look over my shoulder, recover, and then diving through with the head. And then you can add on at the end any spiral you like. So we've just had our little balance, recover, a small pull back, looking over our shoulder, Diving through with the head, finishing off with a spiral. Let's do the whole thing from the top before we go with music. So we have twist, 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 push, catch, pull back, and twist, 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 push. Pull back and catch, leave your focus. And pull, pull through, shift forwards and invert. Shift back and balance. Small look, big dive through. Spiraling to finish. Okay, so Feel free to have a pause and practice if you like. Then we're gonna do it with some music. We'll go once through, and then you've got two lots of eight to improvise, 
find any movement that you enjoy using the momentum and these words that we've used, the pouring, pressing, pushing, catching, and throwing or pulling. Two counts of eight, and then we'll go again. Okay, so find your starting position. And ready, twist, 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 push, catch, pull back, twist, 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 push, catch, pull back and catch. Leave your focus. Pull, pull through and forwards and back look dive and then improvise So we're going to do it again, exactly the same with the music, but you now have the space. You can keep it the same as you've just done it, but if you've got room for more, you can add an extra challenge. There's lots of possibilities for extra challenges. It could be that if you've got enough space, you can see if you can shift a bit more and make your movement bigger. Maybe you might find extra length in the suspensions. It might be that you add on some extra shape with limbs, um, finding some reaches and whips with your arms, your legs, your spine. It might be, if you're really brave, that you want to try it all, but on the opposite side and reverse it all, mirror it all. It's completely up to you. Um, for my extra challenge, I'm gonna add some extra arms in there and possibly if I've got space, an extra turn or two as well. So have a go and see, see how you go, see what extra challenge you can go with.
that's it for this home practice session, Mechanics of Momentum. I hope you found it useful, maybe discovered something. Remember, you can go back to any of the sections of this episode. You also might like to try exploring the material with some different music. You might try and find some different music that suits your own personal rhythm. I'd also love to hear your comments, so please do comment down in the comment section below. Maybe something that you discovered new about the way you moved. Maybe it was something that you found challenging. Always love to hear from you. And remember to click the like button and subscribe so you can keep in touch with Stopgap's other episodes. Also, if you really enjoyed exploring movement that came from, started from a wheelchair perspective, you also might like to try Christian's episode in this season, and it is movement potential from the base upwards. Thank you very much for watching. See you again soon. Home Practice, Stopgap Dance Company.